Have a look what we have found here. A beautiful herd of impala. Still out in the open. Um, which is very interesting. And the reason behind that often is a lot of these antelope species like to come out into the open clearings in the evening. Um, and the main reason is for safety. It's because it is so open it's easier for them to to glance around and keep an eye out for any potential predators that might be in the area um, there was something else I noticed which I'd like to show you just trying to see if I can see it on one or two of those impala now uh, if you have a look at that that one that is standing facing the right and the one that has just walked behind him or have, yeah, exactly, those two, just over there. Have a look, at, it's quite interesting. It, often the impala generally have this beautiful sheen to their coat. These two impala look as if they have been brushed the wrong way. Can you see that? That is a very interesting um, adaptation that these impala have. What they do is they have tiny muscles in their skin. And they contract these muscles and cause the hair on their back to stand up. What this does is it then traps air, warm air, underneath those hairs, those hair follicles. And that acts as an insulation to keep the impala warm. As the day starts warming up, they will relax those muscles. And the hair then falls down again. And they have that beautiful, smooth, sleek sheen, which you are used to seeing on impala. So especially in the mornings, cold mornings like this, you'll often see this impala with this, with this ruffled look or this hair that is standing up and it looks like they've been brushed the wrong way. There you can see it clearly on that one now. Look at that. See how much darker it is on the back. It's grooming itself. This looks like a, a, a young bachelor herd. There were one or two adult males but uh, the entire herd consists of males and these younger males you can see those horns aren't quite fully developed yet and it's not unusual to find bachelor herds of impala males generally do stick together and the females with all the younger younger impala stay together often with maybe one or two dominant males until the writing season where they then compete for dominance over the females